How's it going, folks? Welcome back to Florida Homestead. Guys, for the beginning of March, it is hot outside. It's in like the mid 80s today. And we've had a busy past couple of weeks here on the homestead with four of our five expectant calves being delivered here on the farm. Now, thank God they've all been healthy and happy so far, but it's still been a lot of work and a lot of stress, you know, watching them, making sure that their mothers don't reject the babies and making sure that they're happy and healthy, but they have been. So things on the farm have been a little bit busy, but that's not what we're here to talk about today, guys. Today, we are going to be taking a look at another portable battery bank. This is the R600 from All Powers. Now we've looked at a few All Powers batteries in the past, but this one is gonna be smaller, it's gonna be more portable, and it's gonna be suitable for smaller jobs. But just how small exactly, what can we do with this bad boy? We're gonna to have to dive in and take a look. So it's hot today, but it's a beautiful day. Let's go look at some applications and see how this thing runs. Come on. Unboxing the unit was straight to the point. There wasn't a lot of junk or excess. It's just exactly what you need to get up and running. So the unit itself has two AC outputs, two USB-Cs, a USB-A, two of those rather, two DC outputs, and it's simple to plug and get it juiced up right away. Doesn't take very long to reach that maximum charge, probably because this is a little bit of a smaller unit. And it's a very nice looking unit overall. The beige color on this one was pretty nice. Comes in black too, so if you don't like the beige, you've got that option as well. So for my first test of the R600, I thought to myself, why don't we really try to test the strengths of this unit, which is obviously its portability. Now the R600 only weighs 16 pounds in total, and I thought, hey, this would be ideal for taking this on a hike or something of that nature, where you wanted to power a couple of electric tools, maybe a cell phone, maybe a laptop. So I went ahead, I loaded this up in the backpack with my phone charger and a couple of my electric tools, and I actually took it with me on a little hike. Now I've hiked with this thing on my back for about three quarters of a mile now to get to my little secret spot here in the forest. This spot's kind of cool. I always liked it because there's an orange tree here. Probably gonna have myself a little snack here in a moment, but that's not the point. I've got the R600 in my backpack here, along with a little bit of tools, a charger that we could recharge our tools in the middle of the woods here. And it wasn't that bad. It's a hot day, so I'm sweating a little bit. But the fact of the matter is, this battery bank is really lightweight. It was no issue at all for me to trudge it out here into the middle of nowhere. And as you'll see in a second here, if I needed to do some work way off the grid, way away from any kind of supply lines, it wouldn't be a problem at all, as long as we can get it within the wattage that this thing can handle. So after arriving at our little destination, I went ahead, had my little orange snack, and I unloaded the R600 from the backpack. We booted it up, we plugged in the Ryobi battery charger, which is universal for all the Ryobi electric tools. I had the battery pack on there, plus my cell phone, and it was only pulling about 47 watts. And at maximum capacity, this unit would have been able to charge both my cell phone and that battery pack for five to six hours, which is a pretty nice deal for how big it is. Back at the homestead now, it was time to test out the SPO27 solar panel. Now, one thing that I thought was pretty cool about this panel, besides the fact that it's super plug and play, you just snap two cables together, one that goes into the battery pack and another that goes into the back of the panel, and you're locked and loaded. You're already starting to pull power. But this thing actually comes with two little fold out almost arms for the solar panel to stand on regardless of where you are and I thought that was pretty neat so even if you're in like a flat clearing for example you can kick out those little legs and it'll sit upright and get the best angle for you to capture the sunlight. Now this panel can pull up to 100 watts. It was a moderately sunny day and I was able to pull about 72 watts from the panel so not bad. I can definitely see on a very bright and sunny day you'd be pulling that 100 watts but still 72 wasn't bad, being that it was a little cloudy. 
inside the house now for some more testing of the unit. I hooked up a crock pot, which it was able to run at 250 watts. Although at max battery life, it only would have been able to run it for about an hour. I tried to run the coffee maker. We overshot the wattage by a couple hundred. However, a mini coffee maker probably would have worked. And we tried a little kid's waffle maker, which did in fact work at just under 500 watts. No problem, so if you wanted to make your kids a little snack while camping, that would work for you. In taking the unit outside for a near max wattage test, we actually ran our electric milker and milk scarlet with it at 480 watts. I would have been able to run the unit for about 40 minutes, which would have given us the ability to milk about four times. And folks, that's gonna do it for the video, the All Powers R600. I forgot to mention earlier in the video, it actually has this awesome little light on the front that comes equipped with it. So if you take a camping or something like that, you can light up darkness around you. It is really cool. The key features of this guy right here are gonna be the price. It comes in at under $200 and the weight and the portability. I was able to take it with me hiking way into the woods and it was super easy to carry around just in a backpack. So as always, I love looking at these kind of little battery banks. They're really neat. And this All Powers one, the All Powers ones are always great and this little one's no exception. So it gets a big thumbs up from me. Good compatibility with that solar panel. It has those neat little pop-up legs so you can go ahead and angle it and pick up the sunlight wherever you are on the go. And that's kind of the whole point with these things, right? So big thumbs up from me. I can't thank All Powers enough for the opportunity to take a look at this. And until next time, everybody, God bless you guys. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, it's Justin with Florida Homestead. Bye-bye, you guys.